Hey guys, Aaron with Integrity K9, and today we've got uh, Ebby and Rip out on a walk. It's the first time that we've had them out for any kind of lesson, and so we're starting at the very basics. And uh, today, the very basics means leash pressure. So um, neither of these respond super well to leash pressure, especially Rip. Um, I think Ebby is just uh, being a stubborn schnauzer um, with her leash manners, but honestly, they're not terrible. Um, she just would rather not have boundaries. And then Rip um, does not know what to think about this. So, uh, so this has been an interesting walk. You'll notice that they do have their e-collars on. Uh, however, I'm not using the e-collars today. Just getting them used to wearing them, um, starting out at the very basics, like I said, with simple leash pressure for now. Uh, utilizing some treats along the way as we need to. Although I'll say that at this point, they're not uh, highly treat motivated, but they do take treats. So um, really looking forward to this this session um, with uh, with these two. So Ebby is four and uh, Rip is five months. Uh, come from a sweet family and they just want them to, to uh, behave, have greeting manners, uh, and be able to walk off leash. So that's what we're going to be striving for. So uh, here we go. We're going to lead out with a, uh, a loose leash heel today is the idea. So the leashes that I have, uh, I'm going to be um, giving them a little bit of slack. If they feel tension on that, then they should know that they're out of bounds. And that's going to be a recurring principle that they're going to learn is that that, that tension or uh, that pressure, it means that they're out of bounds. And so when I put pressure, I need them to look to me for direction or come back within bounds. And so that's what they're going to be learning as of today. So uh, follow along and let's see how they do here. Abby, rip, come on, heel. There you go. So one thing about loose leash heel that Ebby is is not helping me with right now is that I want it to be my walk and not hers. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of pressure here, a little correction like that. Just a tap tap. Get her back on course. Um, and so if she's trying to stray off to the side, if I'm not holding my camera, then I'm gonna be uh, a little bit more active on that leash uh, correction um, but just trying to keep her on the sidewalk right now i've got a physical boundary or visual boundary of the grass and i don't want her on the grass she's going to cross that line so we're going to bring her back over here you'll see i'll give a little tap there we go good oh nope. <laughs> and rip is a little scared of the camera so uh it's I'm telling you man today has been interesting um but what rip's doing right here what he's demonstrating is really ideal that's what i want and um, uh, and so just a little bit of slack here uh if he hangs up i'm gonna give him a little tap like that get him to catch back up he's distracted by a bird um and so with ebby over here i'll do the same same thing if she starts to start to get up on um on the grass there then hey come on then i'll give her a little bit of a correction <laughs> you can see i got my hands full i think we got a sticker in our paw so uh, so that'll be it for today, but uh, follow along and, and uh, let's see how they progress.